got dressed all by myself. Well done on you, Philip, for getting yourself dressed. So, what I'm going to do is show you how to fake camera movement by using keyframes on the position and scale uh, values over here on your bit on your clips. I don't usually use the black bars in the tutorials that I show you, but in this one they are key, so there they are. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the first clip from the intro, and I'm going to do a left to right or right to left. Uh, now, in order to do this, you need to make sure the scale is above 100. Of course, you can have your own scales, but for the purposes of this, 120 is the one I'm using. So, to do the left to right or right to left, you need to, first of all, uh, make a keyframe right there, which I've, done, which I've done already, and then you need to drag the left to right value in, wh in whatever direction you're going, and stop it just before you start to see the edge of the clip. So, right there. Then you need to go about halfway through the clip and then drag it in the other direction until just before, like with the other side, until just before you see the edge of the clip. And then you need to drag it all the way to the end of the footage and then and then you, and then we should be able to see it going left to right. Of course with the of course, with the rendering and stuff, it can take a bit of time for it to get done properly. But with the parts you could see, there's a definite smooth left to right, like right to left uh, pan right there. Now, for the next clip, we're going to do up and down. So, uh, same again. Need to make need, need to make a keyframe at the start, and then we need to uh, go all the way down until we start to see the edging of the clip, which is about right there and then go halfway through, make another keyframe, and drag it until we start to see the edge of the frame again. Now this one is gonna be a little different because I'm also gonna show you how to try and link up uh, your clips when you are doing this fake camera movement. So let's move it to, to round about there and then make a third keyframe, put it there. So here we are with our, with our, three, with our three keyframes. Now what? Now what I'm going to show you is how to affect the curve of your uh, of your little animation here. Uh, what we need to do is click on here, and we're going to drag this value all the way up. Up it goes. Drag this. As you can see, we're affecting the velocity, and we're trying to make, get it as quickly as possible. So. Okay, that's pretty good. It's a. It's a nice slight, it's a nice slight change of speed, uh, and then for the next one, we're going to continue the same movement, so the same speed, but then, but then slow it down, and then we'll continue the rest of the clip. So, same thing again, position, and make another one about there. So, if my if my laptop will allow, let's see let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks absolutely fine. The movement of me standing up with the shot of my socks to me putting my shirt down in the next one. The move, the fake camera movement continues, so it looks seamless, and I'm very happy with that. So the next and final thing I'm going to show you is how to uh, use this same similar animation style uh, within Premiere Pro to do it with uh, drone footage. Uh, now for this one, I found this on YouTube, it's royalty free, completely fine. Uh, and what we're going to do is, is, is we're going to do uh, a fake zoom in. Now with this one, the, the drone moves forward towards, this, uh, uh, towards the ridge in the, in the distance there. But, but what we're going to do is we are going to have the fake camera movement zoom out as the ca as the drone moves towards it. Um, a famous example of this is in Jaws, where the main character sees the shark, and there's the famous dolly in zoom out shot. So what so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a key put a keyframe on, on the scale, and we're going to make it 350. Do put it to halfway, and then make it 300. Yeah, that looks fine. It's got it's definitely got the zoom out. Uh, move in element I, want, I wanted for it. Uh, I 
Uh, one thing I might do is I might try and speed it up a little, so I will simply speed up the uh, clip itself. Let's, make, let's, let's double it, because you can't quite see the full effect as is, and I will render it and get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, there you go. Defin definitely, def definitely looks a hell of a lot better. You can definitely see the trees in the foreground are slightly moving differently to the hills, the hills in the far in the background, which is the, which is what I was trying to go for. Uh, and that is pretty much it. I highly encourage everyone to try this at home. So I hope this video has helped you in any way, shape, or form. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye.